Remember, we must learn to lead with our hearts. This is Brendan, aka Wolfshield, aka Skull Babylon, reporting here from within my car, having just seen the movie Alpha, and this is my quick conscious movie review of it. For those who haven't seen me make these videos before, basically this is the idea of being able to look at movies through the lens of what are they doing, how are they helping assist with the shift in consciousness. And so the story of Alpha is the origin story of man and wolf, man and dog, man and canine's relationship. And it's a story of 20,000 some odd years ago and Keda, the son of a tribe's leader, goes out on a hunt and then he ends up getting seriously injured, left for dead. And along the way, he meets the dog, canine, the wolf, Alpha, who he ends up hurting with a rock, but compassion leads him to stay his hand and together they learn to survive. They learn to become friends in order to be able to help Keda make his way home. And so through this movie, the consciousness shifting themes that really stood out to me, not only was this very spiritual movie in its own way, because I think like the people who made this movie are definitely well aware of the whole idea that there is more to this reality than meets the eye, that beyond the physical flesh, we all are spirit. And so that theme in itself has always been a big element as to why I've always been fascinated with animals and with dogs and wolves. You look into their eyes and you see you. And so this movie is kind of like that concept blown up into an entire story. You look into the eyes and you see a soul. You see the universe staring back at you in that sense. And so throughout the story, it's very cool because again, Keda is kind of like this very balanced male and feminine energy type character. And so he is learning to be strong through tapping into his courage, yet he is led by his heart. And so at first, this is kind of like people are just like, oh, you must learn to be tough and stuff like that. But again, the fact that he leads with his heart is actually what keeps him alive because it allows him to develop the companionship with Alpha, with the wolf, and that allows both of them to be able to survive together. And so one thing about this movie that I just love, obviously, is the fact that it is about wolves. Like having grown up with many German shepherds over the years, that in itself was a big reason why I was excited to be able to see this movie. And uh, shout outs to all of my dogs, all of my German shepherds, Shelby, Bobby, Hani, and my other dogs, Nikki and Dallin, and all the, all the, oh man, all the wolf elementals out there. Um, yeah, it was nice just to be able to watch that through the, through the story on screen. Very heart opening, so. <laughs> Another fact of why I enjoyed this movie is just the, the idea of being able to like see through the story like a time where technology wasn't a thing and it's just nature and man and animals and, and that was kind of refreshing. It was like a nice little getaway in that sense. And again, the cinematography, like the landscapes, oh, very, very beautiful. That in itself is like kind of very much consciousness shifting in itself when you can kind of like see the world and you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what we're a part of. Wow, crazy. And so some other conscious and shifting themes within this movie, I really like the idea that it's not a huge part of the movie, but like when you see the tribe, when you see the tribe that Keda is from, you see that there is a female who's like a shaman character and she's leading the tribe. And I found that to be very interesting, or at least she is one of the leaders within the tribe. And so that was really cool because there was a lot of like kind of very gentle shaman themes within this movie and a lot of the cinematography it was all like micro macro shots so you kind of get these beautiful like cinematography shots of like even the galaxies the milky way up in the sky because you think you know this is thousands and thousands of years ago there's no light pollution imagine what the skies look like back then so just that and you see some close-ups of like sacred geometry being formed in snowflakes and also like the macro of rivers which are like the fractals so the people who made this movie you know they are definitely conscious in their own way and so that is usually what happens in terms of why a movie like this gets made you know like someone with that intention to be able to be like hey let's you know let's create something that's going to be entertaining but at the same time let's use it as a as a way to be able to carry a message to deliver a heart shifting a paradigm shifting message to the people who watch this and so in that sense like this movie is it perfect whatever right like it, it, it does a very good job at being what it attempts to be and for that i enjoyed it and for that i appreciate it and for that you know i invite and encourage you to go check it out for your yourself and just kind of open your heart to it and I will say that this like and, and I'm, there's nothing really spoiled in any of this that I've said so far so you're good to go see it um, there was one part where like 
I, when I went into this movie, I was open to crying. <laughs> and so uh, I, I kind of did that like even at the beginning. Um, and it was just kind of like a scene, and this isn't a spoiler, but like when his mother like says goodbye before like leading him off to the hunt with his father, and I was just like, I was like, oh, like, very, very, uh, very real in the feels there. So, um, other conscious and shifting themes, just before I wrap this video off the top of my head, uh, again, you know, like, there's even elements of dreaming within this movie. So like as Kata's making his way back home along with the help of Alpha, uh, he gets like elements where he's like seeing visions of his parents through his dreams, which in itself affect the physical reality. But again, this movie at its core is just about like the importance of listening to your heart, of listening to compassion, while still tapping into the courage and understanding that like through the challenges in front of us, that is what allows us to grow stronger. So you see Kata go through this idea and this is verbalized within the movie it's like you don't realize how strong you are you don't realize the strength inside of you so the strength is inside of all of us the wolf teachings is a lot to do with that the wolf teaching is this kind of like deeper wisdom of our connection to spiritual planes and the idea of the courage that we have within inside of us where we can be like both tough both fierce and soft like courageous and compassionate all at the same time so yeah, that's my conscious movie review for Alpha. Definitely helping change the world, planting those little seeds that are helping open up our hearts, helping remind us of the importance of what we can learn from animals, about being able to be compassionate, about being able to be courageous, about being able to very much so like use our intuitive spiritual connection to guide us through this reality. So thank you so much for watching this video. Go out there, keep changing the world, keep bringing more heart into it. Please feel free to check out more conscious movie reviews on my channel at Skull Babylon, and please leave your comments down below. All that good stuff. Oh, oh, howl along with me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and until next time, keep it shifty. I'll see you guys in the future. Much love. Also, a quick shout out to any of us who have ever tried being psychic with our pets. I mean, it's not a huge part of this movie, but I just, yeah, I, we, we should definitely get on that. So, you know, because like, get on that wavelength, communicate, use the, use the emotions as like the guidance system to be able to communicate with non-people species. So, 